So what's going on here? If you notice those patterns in there, those are called convection cells, caused by convection. You might be saying, but what's convection? Convection is the combination of three things, heat transfer, gravity, and density. Let me use some diagrams to show you what I mean. When you first mix your solution, it's going to be about the same temperature throughout and the same density throughout. When you put the heat on, the fluid that's closest to the heat source gets more energy. Those molecules move apart, making that portion of fluid less dense. The solution at the top, by definition, is cooler and more dense. The cooler liquid goes down because it's denser because of gravity, and when it goes down, it displaces and buoys up the hotter, less dense fluid. It's going to make that hotter fluid rise up, and then it's going to cool off. It's going to sink, rise up again, and it's going to cool off, and it's going to sink. That's what a convection cell is. All you need is a temperature difference. But in our case, we get to see that convection happening because you added liquid soap. Your liquid soap has an organic molecule in it that reflects light in a whole bunch of different ways. That's what lets you visualize the fluid flow, and that's what lets you see the convection happening in your pie pan. Convection happens everywhere. It happens wherever there's a temperature difference in all types of fluid. Gas is a fluid. So in your room, if there's a temperature difference, the hot air will rise. That's why when you climb your ladder, it's hotter by the ceiling in your room. On a larger scale, convection helps drive huge weather patterns. Uneven heating of the Earth's surface will cause air to rise and cause it to sink, driving weather. Believe it or not, convection even happens underneath the surface of the Earth. The Earth's surface is made up of huge tectonic plates that are slowly moving about. Scientists believe the Earth is trying to cool itself off via the process of convection. So the next time you feel an earthquake, you can thank convection. The Earth's ocean currents are caused by differences in temperature. Convection. The sun is trying to cool itself off. The convection cells on the surface of the sun could be the size of continents. Some of them could be the size of the Earth. Oh, hold on, I'm going to get a cup of coffee. <clears throat> Oh, geez, that's hot. You could cool your coffee off by letting it sit. It cools off by the process of convection. Convection is everywhere. 